Today I'm going to show you how you can build your own AI voice assistant in Python in less than 10 minutes. The next 10 minutes I'm gonna show you how you can record a new voice from your laptop, turn this voice to a text, send the text to AI assistant, can be OpenAI or AWS Bedrock, and eventually get it back and turn this text to speech. Here is an example of how it works. Who are you? Hello, I am Jarvis, your helpful assistant. I'm here to assist you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I help you today? Can you tell me uh, what is OpenAI in three line? OpenAI is an artificial intelligence research laboratory. Its mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Thank so you. stay tuned, we're about to start. Feel free to follow for more amazing tutorial. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So today I'm going to show you how you can build your own Jarvis on your local computer with Python in less than 10 minutes. All you need is just listen and follow this amazing tutorial. I have all the code on my GitHub and I'm going to share the script in the YouTube description. So don't try to run the code, just follow the video so you will understand everything. Next, what you will need, you will need the OpenAI account with API keys in order to interact with OpenAI, uh, with the Whisper AI that we're gonna use, and also the chat completion. So that's it, this is all you need, a uh, platform openai.com, and of course Visual Studio, we're gonna use Python, and I will explain you all the code and the relevant information you need, but before we start, let's understand what we're going to build today. So at first stage, we're gonna record a new voice from our computer using Python Pytex, then we're gonna switch this speech to a text using OpenAI Whisper, and eventually we're gonna send the text that we have to AI Assistant with ChatGPT. It can be also AWS Bedrock. We're gonna get back the text and we're gonna switch it to speech using again Python library. And this is what is the look, the waterfall. We have record new voice, speech to text, AI Assistant, and text to speech. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's start coding. So first of all, we're going to import all the relevant library that we need from Python, including NumPy, OpenAI, Random, Skype, a Sound Device, Pytex, and OS. And again, as I said on my GitHub, you have all the instruction how to install that, including how to install it in a virtual environment with Python. Okay, so it will work no matter which environment uh, or which computer you have. I tested it a few times, it's working perfectly. Okay, once we load all the imported uh, that library that we need, next we're gonna load the uh, environment variable that it will be inside our env file. This is where you need to save your OpenAI API key in order for this script to work on your local computer. Okay, you're gonna go to platform API, uh, OpenAI, and you're gonna copy your API key. So once we import all the relevant library, here we define array of string that we're gonna use in order to generate name for the voice record we're gonna do. Okay, it's nothing, it's not important, it's just to generate a random name. This is why we import also random. That's it, this is what this uh, two array are referring to. Okay, and next, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna initiate our Pytex uh, engine. This is basically what turned the text to a voice. Okay, we init the engine and we set property rate. This is the speed of the uh, voice. Okay, the rate speed of the voice, how fast it will talk. Okay, more than 200 will be faster, less than 200 or even 100 will be very, very slow you can control it and custom it the way that you like it. Next, again, it's not the super crucial code, but I want to add it for you also. This is the option for you to add voices to the Pytex uh, library, to the Pytex engine, to the uh, voice engine. This is how you define a uh, language that you want. I'm gonna use ENUS, and I wanna use a male uh, gender voice for our Jarvis, okay? Uh, again, not crucial code, but important for us to go over so you will understand it. Next, we will define the generate random name. 
every time we record a new audio, we want to generate a name for it. And this is this function and what it's referring to. Again, not super complicated. It just take into array, get a string and return a random string. That's it. And now we will start the actual uh, Jarvis code. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new record audio function. Here we're defining um, the way for us to record our voices. We have a frequency, we have second, and then we initiate it with SD, the sound device. This is what we're using. We're using one channel and it's going to record uh, our voices and eventually we're going to use SD wait until uh, to wait until the recording is finished. Once we record the voice, we're going to get the name that we use the generate random name and we're going to save it in a voice folder inside our local computer. We're going to print back that it's tab, the record tab, and we're going to return back the name of the file because we're going to use it next to uh, turn the speech to text. Okay, in order, in order to turn the speech to text, we're going to use OpenAI WishPair one uh, LLM model that will help us to identify the text from the speech and send it back to us. So this is how you define it. You open the file and then you add the file to the OpenAI audio transcript uh, model with WishPair one. And once it's doing what you need to do, it return back to us a text. Okay, you know how to identify uh, the voices and return text back. Next, we're gonna set the text to speech function. It's only two lines. We're gonna use again the Pytext engine and we're gonna say the response we are getting back from our assistant AI. It can be OpenAI, it can be AWS uh, Bedrock, whatever OpenAI, uh, whatever AI engine you have in the back. And lastly, we're going to define the OpenAI chat send. This is what we're going to use in order to get a back answer from our chat GPT. We're going to define uh, the nickname. We said Jarvis and what it will be his job. This is the message array. And then we're going to uh, use the OpenAI chat completion model with GPT 3.5 Turbo. And that's it, we're done with all the function and now we're gonna go over our main uh, function. This is what will run in a loop and record our uh, voice and help us to interact with our voice assistant AI. So as you can see right now, we record a new voice, we turn this voice to text, then we send the text to OpenAI uh, chat completion. We get in back the request, the text, and then we send the text to our function that turn this text to speech. Now you can use also this uh, script in order to stop or give the order to stop the script. I am not using that and that's it. This is all the script. As you see, it's not complicated. Only one file, not crazy. Everybody can do it. Special uh, beginner can start interact and learn how to interact with AI using Python. So now we're gonna run our code. We're gonna do a live demo of how it works. I'm gonna do Python 3 and the name of the file. Once you run the code the first time, it will pop up this uh, message. Give a permission to use the microphone in your computer. Just press OK and that's it. Who are you? Hello. I am Jarvis, your helpful assistant. I'm here to assist you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I help you today? Can I refer to you as Jarvis? Of course, you can call me Jarvis. How can I assist you today? Hello Jarvis, can you tell me uh, what is OpenAI in three line? OpenAI is an artificial intelligence research laboratory. Its mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. OpenAI focuses on building safe and beneficial AI technologies while also promoting responsible deployment and cooperation in the AI community. Thank you, Jarvis. This is all for now. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to ask. 
Have a great day. Well, guys, as you can see right now, our voice assistant Jarvis working with ChatGPT, recording, transcript. And if you want to try it by yourself, you can go to the YouTube description, get the GitHub a repository link, and just run it on your local computer. That's it for today. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave comment below. And keep following because I'm going to release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.